Hi everybody and welcome to our YouTube channel. We are as always your hosts, Arne and Carlos. Yeah, and we're in Tokyo. We're in Tokyo. We're going to be doing something new. We're doing a travel uh, vlog. So travel, travel video vlog. Yeah, so you can see what we're doing when we're not at home. Yeah, and we're just going to show you around and uh, show you a little bit about our life uh, when we travel and we do stuff in other countries. So stay tuned. We're here in Tokyo and uh, today we are having lunch in a traditional Japanese uh, noodle place. Finally we got the udon. Honest mm -hmm. having the udon noodle, I'm having the <laughs> soba noodle. I think I might have order, over ordered a little bit, but uh, you can ask for a doggy bag. I'll ask for it. <laughs> it will be good. <laughs> so, as we say in uh, Japanese, uh, itatakimasu. Okay. Itatakimasu. So, it means uh, bon appetit. Thank you. <laughs> Let's enjoy our noodles. Yes. This is the office of our uh, Tokyo or Japan agent, uh, the Nordic Culture Japan, uh, and our agent is Setsu Inoue, and we are coming to say hello and to uh, go through the program that we have this week while we are in Japan. So uh, let's go in. Come inside and let's have a look. <laughs> We're here in the office of uh, our agent uh, Inoue Setsu. Uh, the, the, our agency here in Japan, they specialize in Nordic culture and uh, introduction of Nordic culture in Japan. So Setsu is a trained uh, music therapist. And you bring a lot of musicians from mm -hmm. Norway mm -hmm. to, speak to Japan. She speaks very good Norwegian <laughs> and good English. And we have been together with Setsu since um, 2012, yes. <clears throat> when Setsu discovered us and brought us to Japan. So we have been uh, published here, several books. Uh, we have a lot of uh, different projects that we work together mm -hmm. with you. And uh, one of the big projects that we work with now is uh, the Tohoku project. Tohoku was an area that, the area that got very badly hit by the tsunami in 2011. And uh, there's been a lot of work here in Japan to revitalize the area again. And we have been involved in this. Uh, in 2014, we went to Tono and Tohoku to do uh, workshops uh, and uh, to encourage the people to do their, uh, their crochet. They do, um, for example, coasters like this that we design and then they are sold in the very exclusive uh, stores all over Japan, which has been a, a big success. And now we are here uh, planning um, we're having a reception tomorrow at the Norwegian Embassy mm -hmm. and uh, this is the, the guest list <laughs> and, uh, and when you come from Europe uh, traveling for so many hours and you're a little bit jet lagged it's always good to know who's coming uh, it's, uh, the, the, the guest list is not our responsibility it's uh, Setsu in collaboration with the people from the Tohoku project so it's good to go through it and see who is uh, coming and uh, kind of take some notes, whether we remember some people from previous times, it's always good to know, have a little idea. Yeah. So going through the guest list uh, before an event is something we do enjoy doing. Uh, yeah. So do you have anything to add? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're tired. I'm jet lagged. You're jet lagged, yes. <laughs> yeah, we arrived yesterday, uh, 11 hours from Paris, so yeah, long flight. Um, Fine. But it's good. It's good to, to be prepared. Uh. So 
here's our one tip for uh, anybody coming to Tokyo, if you love books as much as we do. Daikanyama Tsutaya. This is a great, great bookstore. It's one of our favorite in the whole world that we visited. There is a great cafe, or there's several great cafes. Uh, books in all uh, languages, actually. Foreign language, Japanese, there's magazines, there's everything. And it's such a beautiful area. All you need. There's all you need here. So keep it in mind more. Daikanyama. Daikanyama is a great area in Tokyo. And you want to come to Tsutaya Books. We've actually done book signings here before, haven't we? Yeah, and two times. Twice, yeah, twice. and held lectures here. Mm. So no, so. but now we're just for shopping. Yes. <laughs> Today we're going shopping. Just shopping. <laughs> we're a bit camera shy and we're not sure we're allowed to take uh, any video inside. So uh, we're not going to film inside because we don't want, dare to ask anybody. <laughs> but look at the sign. Yeah. That's the bookshop. And we'll go in there now and enjoy a little bit of a browse <laughs> through the books. So see you later. See you. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to visit Emi Iwakiri, an old friend of ours from the project with the Tohoku that we have been doing. Let's see. It works. <laughs> hello. Hey, hello, Mr. We like body touch. We like it. Yeah, we like it. Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> we wait a little because we all just have the lunch. Oh, oh. Okay. What kind of food? Uh, noodles. noodles. Noodles and tempura and all kinds. Noodles. Yeah. Uh, udon for him and so on. So oh. He likes hot noodle soup. <laughs> I like cold noodles. <laughs> complicated. Yeah. Very complicated. Yeah. <laughs> So this is the uh, embassy's uh, reception hall where we are hosting or we're being hosted by the Norwegian embassy in Tokyo and we will have uh, guests coming here. There's going to be a lecture, presentation and after that the chairs magically disappear <laughs> and the food, the food comes in, the wine and there will be a lovely reception uh, with all our guests, the press and everybody who is been invited to join us. Are we looking forward to that? Yes, we are. Now we're going to I, test. Is this the fifth time? Or how many times have you been this there? This is, uh, okay, 2009, mm -hmm. 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes, you're yeah. right. It's the sixth time we're here sixth. in the embassy. Sixth, sixth time. Sixth time. Sixth. Sixth. So now we're going to test uh, the PowerPoint, mm -hmm. sound, Let's all those things. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's go. And then we have coffee. <laughs> Dear guests, welcome to the Norwegian Embassy in Tokyo. A special welcome back to Arna and Carlos. We have had several very interesting and inspiring events with the duo in the past, and we are very glad to host them here again today. 
アルメアンドカルロスの2人にはお帰りなさいと申し上げますこれまで大使館で何度か開催したお二人のイベントはいずれも大変興味深く、えー、非常に刺激的なものでした今日またここでイベントを開催さ,てさせていただけるのを大変嬉しく思います So,、uh, good evening, everybody.、Uh, thank you so much for coming to this event tonight.、Uh, we would start,、uh, we'd like to start、uh, by thanking the embassy for、uh, supporting us every time we come to Japan. And also a big thank you to、uh, Setsui Noura and her team. For bringing us over for this project. That's like the bullet train part of it. It's very fast. Super express. It takes about two and a half or two hours、yeah. to get to Osaka. So it goes really fast. We'll be passing Mount Fuji、um, in about an hour. Looking forward to that. Maybe we can get, a, get it on film. You never know. <laughs> and then we are going to meet our fans. We have a fan club in Osaka. A fan meeting. And there's a fan club meeting today that we're going to. Enjoy, I'm sure. I'm going to meet the bird at least one in two, no, three hours, three and a half, three hours. But I guess there will be a lot of talking and pictures and signings, and a lot of fun. Yeah, and it's day six in Japan, so we're over our jet lag now, feeling very vital and refreshed, so that's good. So in a few days, we go home and start the jet lag again <laughs> on the other side of the world. See you in Osaka. See you in Osaka. <laughs> <laughs> Last day in Tokyo, what are you eating? Soba noodle,、mm -hmm. tendon, double decker. <laughs> Happy? Happy. <laughs> We are、uh, still in Tokyo. Today is our last day. 
we are in a interesting cafe to say the least. It's an old railway station. Yeah. A little so, more traffic than in our station. Yeah. It's <laughs> It's cool. We decided that this was a great place to kind of sum up our trip to Tokyo. We live in a train station. We are in a cafe in a train station. The trains are coming in from both sides. It's really this is, crazy. And it's close to Akihabara. Akihabara, um, which is the technical or the techno town. I think you could call it techno town. And a lot of toys. Yeah, that's where all the electronics, uh, people go to buy electronics there and all the manga caricatures and yeah it's 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 a crazy place so we've done some serious shopping yeah so you will see later and Akihabara <laughs> is kind of behind us behind these buildings is so uh, it's pretty cool yeah. we've had six eight eight pretty cool days in Japan uh, been enjoying our trip a lot yeah. started out with uh, some uh, meetings at the at the office of our agents that's uh, Nordic Culture Japan then we did the kickoff for Tono, for Tohoku, which is the big project that we are involved in. And it's now official that we are the guest creative directors of the festival that will take place uh, in Tono in Japan in 2020. In October. In October. And we look forward to that. We've been working with the Tohoku project since a long time, since uh, I think a few years, maybe two years after the tsunami hit the area. Uh, we got involved and we've been involved ever since and it's it's great to be able to help revitalize an area that actually got devastated by a, a terrible natural uh, catastrophe like the tsunami of 2011 and we had two fan meetings yes and two workshops and where we where did we go for the fan meetings we went we were to in, osaka yeah. and one in tokyo tokyo yes so which is also pretty cool really cool a lot of people we met before, so yeah. it was nice. We haven't seen them like in three, three years. years. It's been three years since we were here. That was really nice, and we had a lot of interesting meetings. And now we have mm -hmm. a lot of job to do when we come home. Yeah. So we haven't been able to film in all the meetings because they've been secret meetings. <laughs> yeah, you can't tell everything. Yesterday we spent a long <laughs> time with our editor, sorry, with our publisher in, in Japan, uh, which is called Nihongo. And they also publish a series of different magazines in knitting, quilting. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of projects uh, and then of course other meetings with other partners that we collaborate with in Japan. So now you see a little bit of what we do when we travel and we travel in Japan. Yeah, we have great food. So oh my god. Let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about, let's talk about favorite food. food. Let's talk about food. Okay, so Japan. Favorite food is Japanese food. Well, Japanese food is amazing. Uh, I have favorite foods in many other countries as well. What I love about Japan is that, or Japanese food, is you can come here and as long as you stick to Japanese food, you can eat as much as you want. Just eat, 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 and you don't gain any weight. You lose weight, actually. You lose a little <laughs> bit of weight because the food here is super healthy, it's very well balanced. They've got a great balance between carbs and protein and fat and they have a lot of beans, a lot of, uh, be uh, there's a lot of beans in the diet here. There's not only soya beans, but a, a great deal of different variations of beans, not to mention the fresh fish, which is really, really delicious. The sashimi is stunning here. And so what's your, what, what's your favorite, what was your favorite meal here? Uh, steamed meat okay. with noodles and stuff. Yeah, that was great. We had the steam. That was really good. That was really good. And we had uh, the food we had yesterday, the vegan food was also. Oh, we had a great vegan, different. Japanese vegan meal that was incredible. Yeah. And uh, I love the sashimi. Uh, first day in Tokyo, we had uh, sashimi in a sashimi place. And tonight, before we get on our plane, we're going to have uh, more, more sashimi. And then we should. And some plum wine, I guess. <laughs> Fuck it. And we just have to eat, 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 because it's going to be our last meal for this trip. And um, and then we have next year to look forward to a new trip to Japan to meet to revisit all our all our friends. Uh, so that would be nice. Yeah, in a very nice area. One of definitely one of our favorite countries to travel in. It's. Everything is very well organized here, it's clean, 
people are so kind and friendly, and it doesn't even matter that we don't speak Japanese because everybody here is so willing to help. Really, the kindest people around, I have to say. I mean, not the kindest people in the world because there's a lot of kind people all over the world. Kind people, but uh, there's a lot of kindness here. Yeah. Uh, but if you want to join our workshop in in, the, in, to, 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 in Tono, in Tono, in 2020, in just. How do you say it? Keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. We will be releasing information. Tono is a beautiful part of Japan. Uh, got badly hit by the tsunami eight years ago. And uh, yeah, it's very important that you don't forget about these places. Just because it's eight years ago doesn't necessarily mean that things are great there. Uh, things are actually really great there, but it would be great for people to go there and, and yeah, enjoy the area and, uh, and it's a participate. Area. Yeah, it's a beautiful area and help so out with, with revitalizing so the, space, nice. the place. So uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to, to visiting again next year. So now it's last minute shopping yep. before we go to the airport. It's we've, still a few hours. We've gotten all our most of our stuff. And, and for everybody who keeps complaining, because there's a lot of you guys complaining about our really bad scissors. <laughs> Yesterday, we went to an amazing store in Tokyo, kind of like a local, a local store. There's a lot of specialist stores in Japan. And the store we went to yesterday was a store that specializes in knives and scissors. So next time we do a sewing video, we will show you the good scissors. Our fantastic Japanese scissors that we got. You have to keep it good. Yeah. And we got two knives as well, uh, vegetable knives, and they were actually they did the finishing touches before our eyes. So mm -hmm. kind of like when we finally selected our knife, they did the final finish there with the stone and water, and uh, yeah, it's so amazing. And now we have a gorgeous mm -hmm. fabric scissor. Mm -hmm. uh, they've told us they've told us how to care for our scissors. Mm -hmm so that we never have dead scissors again so if you ever see us <laughs> in a new video and we have dead scissors make sure to yell at us in the comments <laughs> now, we have the best scissors. now we have the best scissors so yeah. it's been delightful yes, it's been uh, nice remember that we have um, free tutorials every sunday at 6 p.m central european time which is 11 a.m central standard time in north america uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, we both did. If you did, what should you do if you enjoyed the video? Thumbs up. Big thumbs up. <laughs> and the Arnon Carlos family is growing. Every day we get more and more subscribers. So if you're not subscribing, but still enjoy the channel, we really would love you to subscribe. We hope to see some of you in Tokyo. We next, hope to see some of you in, next year. in Northern Japan next year. We will have a great time. Oh, Good guaranteed. Food. Great, night. great food, mm. nice company, mm. and nice company. Absolutely, the best. Yeah. Are you ready? So, yeah. So thank you for watching, <laughs> and see you again next Sunday. Yeah. Bye. Bye.